Yeah, so hello everyone. I'm here to present a small and simple extension that we've written for uh, GeoServer. So imagine a GeoServer uh, instance with hundreds of workspaces, several hundred layers, and in use for several years. So I mean, as time grows, the number of workspaces and the number of layers you have keep growing. And as admins of the instance, you might have several questions in your head. So what are the layers which are frequently used? Are there some kind of power users for my GeoServer instance? Are there any layers that are like really slow, unoptimized, and can be improved? Are there any unused layers which can be removed so that it's easy to maintain my instance? And are there any ghost applications that are kind of just shooting requests at, at your GeoServer but not really being used by, by a lot of people? So we found ourselves, at, uh, I and my colleagues, we found ourselves in this situation two years ago. We wanted to know more about the usage of our, of our GeoServer instances at the German Aerospace Center. And one solution to this is monitoring the request that your GeoServer is receiving. So for that, we started exploring the existing options. So we already installed the, the official monitoring extension of the GeoServer, which offered two options to store uh, the metrics. And yeah, the first one was memory storage, which, is, uh, which has the metrics for the last 100 requests that the GeoServer receives. This was unfortunately not sufficient for us because our GeoServer receives like almost 10,000 requests a day. And we also looked into audit logging, where all the metrics are logged as uh, XML files to your uh, storage, and then you need some secondary applications to process the logs. And yeah, both of these were not uh, sufficient for our case because we wanted to have like cool dashboards with lots of fancy plots to show the, the, the metrics and also to analyze and evaluate how to optimize the use of our GeoServer. And uh, nextly, we looked at the Hibernate extension, but unfortunately, that's not available for the recent versions of the GeoServer since it's been unmaintained for several years now. So yeah, to fix this, we uh, developed a small, uh, a simple, straightforward plugin, a GeoServer PostgreSQL monitoring module. So it takes all the uh, metrics from the monitoring extension of the GeoServer and dumps them directly into PostgreSQL database. So it's a simple extension to the GeoServer monitoring module. And yeah, it has a very simple low level approach to uh, write the metrics to the database and it doesn't have much uh, external dependency on, on external libraries. So it's easy to maintain and update for a longer time. So we managed to get it published as an open source software two months ago, and it's available on GitHub. So uh, we welcome you to use it and provide your comments and feedback, and feel free to create issues there on GeoServer or write me an email uh, with, uh, with your comments or questions. And I'll also be here for the next two days, so if you have any questions, we can also discuss in person. Yeah, so just a snip, uh, snapshot from, from our instance. So on, uh, for our instance at the DLR, we have, after storing all the metrics in PostgreSQL, we've created some dashboards on Grafana, where we see the number of requests we receive in, for example, the screenshot is for the last six hours, which layers are receiving how many requests, which layers are taking too much time to respond, and uh, yeah, which layers could be like optimized further, and then we can get in contact with the people who publish those layers and then get it running better. Yeah, so that's all from my side. If you have any questions, I'm here around too for a discussion. Thanks. <laughs>